What's up, guys? This is Helium Lemon 15. Welcome to another part of Endless Ocean Blue World. This is part 50. Um, even though there's more than 50 videos uh, to this LP uh, because of the way I'm doing it, it's kind of cool that we hit 50 parts. Uh, this has definitely been my longest LP to date. I've been doing this since. Uh, I want to say it's been like three and a half years almost okay less th less than three and a half years but still more than three years alrighty Stardust that's that's a good movie Stardust with Claire Danes Robert De Niro okay whatever and I mean rare man rare very rare more, even more rare than Clay Fighter 63 and a third direct no sculptor's cut which by the way is a very fun game to watch i know it's like a very rare game and it's like a collector's edition thing uh um this must be worth a fortune um blah 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 we found this guy's thing it was like the noble cargo what's a what's a noble cargo a monster really a monster Am I gonna have to hide the monster out under my bed? Uh, I would have recorded this earlier this morning, uh, but I didn't feel like it. I don't know. I'm so out of it when it comes to recording videos. I feel almost overwhelmed by school, but I only have a couple months left. Um, this game is relaxing to play it just like stresses me out when i have to think about what i have to talk about for these videos because a lot of uh, this game is at a point where it's super repetitive um but hey i mean at least we just unlock the dolphin side quest so um my parents uh took me out for lunch today we had like lunch and tea at this place called Alice's Tea Cup, which Alice's Adventures in Wonderland is my favorite book. So it was a special time for me. It, it was a special place. My birthday is not for another two days. Um, it's gonna be on a Saturday. Uh, some of my friends are coming over and playing Smash, which is a game that I'm not, e I don't even own and I'm not even good at, but these are some special friends. So I let them come over and play Smash. Um, Oh, I don't know if I talked about this, but I was playing some more uh, Kirby and the Amazing Mirror recently, trying to actually figure out how that game works with the map um, map system and stuff. I don't know. And even more treasure, because this is how you really grind for money in this game, and I'm found finding some random stuff. First aid box, antique art book, flower painting, ukiyo-e. I don't, I don't know how that... ukiyo-e. A, E. Oh my gosh, I just finished reading Beowulf for my class, and I have no idea what I'm going to write my essay about, so, yay. So, and I have a copy where I can look at, like, the Old English on one side. Old English is so weird. It's like, I watched a really good Overly Sarcastic Productions video about it, and she's like, Okay, you think Shakespeare is Old English, but that's actually Early Modern English. You think Chaucer is Old English, that's Middle English. You think Beowulf is unrecognizable, like weird letters. So this is some of Gigi's backstory. Uh, he went uh, to this place uh, trying to look for treasure with FF's older brother. And... Uh, yeah, FF is uh, GG is basically salvaging to because he hopes to support his his friend who's in the hospital. I don't know if his friend is still in the hospital because that would mean his friend is like in the hospital for the whole game, which is a little sad. I don't know. And it's it's funny like I don't know. It's just like some things like. Like, you imagine, like, how how does this guy stay on this island for his whole life? And then it's like, well, no, they have a aquarium out in Japan. They have all these places that they're traveling back and forth. 
But like, imagine living on an island that's that small, just and just like running your business from there, like for years and years and years. Like I would go crazy on a land mass that's not bigger than, you know, a hundred square feet or whatever. I don't know. So here's the first dolphin show that we've done other than Finley. Um, I don't know how much I want to talk about this, but it's basically, if you didn't see the last part, um, it's basically just keep doing, um, do each trick about once. If you have certain tricks leveled up to level two or level three, uh, then the tricks at, at different levels count as separate tricks. And then other than that, just try to shoot for new records. Uh, the customer really likes it when you, they do new records. The customer likes it when you switch between single tricks and combos. And they also have a special trick, which I try to save, like their favorite trick. They try to, I try to save it for about the middle show. The middle of the show. And then the show ends with they request a, a particular combo. So that's really stupid, but you know, this is so much better than the other shows I've seen. And you have to imagine that this guy has, like, been going around to all these professional dolphin shows, and, like, we're just some random guy, and he's like, wow, this is the best, this is the best. Here's a very weird-sounding dolphin singing, which sounds like a parrot. Sounds like a squeaky door. <coughs> I don't know if I mentioned this, but uh, I was reaching out to one of my favorite uh, game developers, who's this guy Dan Russell Pinson. He has like he has this game Tipping Point, and then a bunch of kind of random educational games for iPad. But Tipping Point is a really unique uh, puzzle game and sort of adventure game, and I like it because of that. And I was asking him about Tipping Point just because you know, just uh, through social media. And we were talking about it. He was talking about the inspiration for it. Uh, he was talking about like releasing uh, the soundtrack, like rem remastered. He's never released a soundtrack before, but if you go through his website, he has a lot of, he has a lot of like, just kind of random pop songs that he's recorded over the years, and a lot of the instrumental ones have uh, ended up on the soundtrack of Tipping Point. I also, there's this indie game that I've been playing and really trying to promote that's called The Dream Machine. It's entirely claymation. It's this wacky sort of psychological thriller game about this guy who basically lives in an apartment building and moves in and then on their first day moving in they start discovering all this freaky stuff that the landlord is spying on their the tenants I'm watching when they're asleep, and he's built a machine that allows him to go into their dreams, and he's exploring the dream world, like the, the dreamscape, it's called. And it's an entire game about, like, exploring people's subconsciousness, and it has all these freaky, freaky things, like, um, like... Well, chapter 6 is the end of the game, so of course it gets the freakiest. But it has, like, this really freaky kind of, like, um... I don't know how to describe it. It's almost like this kind of Stanley Kubrick kind of industrial place. And then contrasted with, like, this really, like, fantasy woods. And it's just, like... There's one chapter when where there's, like... I don't know, I don't want to spoil too much of it, but it has like some really crazy, psychedelic, sometimes really disturbing stuff in that game. Like, there's one part of the game where to get forward, you have to go inside a vampire's stomach. Also, that was a really good show, so good job, guys. See you again soon. A guy looked well, he, he looks like fin Finley, just with a ponytail. And speaking of hairstyles, my parents and I have been looking into hairstyles because 
I've been growing my hair out for a really long time, but sometimes it's annoying because, just because it gets in my face and and it's like hard to take care of. Uh, but I went to my regular barber. He just kind of chopped it off and it did not look very attractive when he just kind of cut, cut the same length evenly all around the back. And I have kind of like long curly hair so I don't know so I got this like fresh haircut today my I mean one of my mom's friends came over did my hair that helped me out a lot we were watching some Rachel Ray show videos where it's like these long-haired people getting makeovers getting their hair all done re recently so we got some ancient ice we got to look for that may be the case yes you seem to know a lot about this how about it? Will you go with Hayako to the Weddell Sea? I don't mind when we go, I'll let you decide. Where to look for the ice? This is an urgent, but do go when you feel like you have some spare time. You must dive with Hayako, or you won't be able to find the ice. Okay, one more dolphin show. I'm just kind of put on a show for these people and make him have a good time, you know, entertain them. Get out of song and dance number, uh, Madison Square Gar- I don't know. Uh, put- <laughs> I keep thinking about like stupid like Sea World and, and Free Willy. I mean, Free Willy is not stupid, but I haven't seen it. So, <laughs> I just wanted the co uh, the commentary to stop awkwardly there on I haven't seen it. But yeah, this is, uh, I don't know. I'm not looking forward to dolphin training when I have like all the dolphins that we're going to eventually have because it's so time consuming you just you honestly just have to turn it on autopilot and just play another game like I don't know like Skull Kid 3 has uh, is like the main LP -er that I know that's done this game and he's his most popular LPs are his Endless Ocean stuff but he's you know, made, like, his Let's Play is basically, like, a complete walkthrough of this game, and he's gotten closer to, uh, 100%ing this game than anyone I know, and still he hasn't gotten, like, all 155 titles or whatever it is. It's just, this game is very time-consuming. Like, I don't know what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna work on it, like, I don't know, I'm feeling antsy. I'm feeling like the need to start a new LP or maybe just continue Majora's Mask when I have the time. I don't know. I got antis in my panties. So thank you so much for watching this episode of Endless Ocean Blue World. I hope it brightened your day. See you in the next one. Goodbye.